This is the A-10 Thunderbolt II. Better known as the Warthog, the U.S. Air Force's flying tank. It's tough, stubborn, and iconic. Refusing to die even after nearly 50 years in service, most jets are sleek and fast. But the A-10 Warthog is slow, tough, and terrifyingly effective. And that's exactly why the troops it protects wouldn't trade it for anything else. The A-10 was born out of the Cold War in the early 1970s. The U.S. Air Force needed a plane that could fly low, destroy Soviet tanks, and survive heavy fire. The result was the Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt II, which entered service in 1977. At first, even pilots laughed. It looked like someone took a farm tractor, strapped on a couple of engines, and said, yeah, that'll do. But its design was genius. The engines were mounted high to avoid debris, and its wide wings allowed for easy maneuvering at low altitudes. The pilot sits in a titanium-armored bathtub, capable of withstanding 23mm cannon fire. Everything about the A-10 was designed for survivability and support. Now let's talk about the part everyone knows, the gun. The GAU-8A Avenger is the largest aircraft-mounted gun ever built, firing 3,900 rounds per minute. Yes, you heard that right, 3,900 rounds a minute. Each shell is the size of a beer bottle, and the recoil actually slows the aircraft down when the pilot pulls the trigger. That's not a myth. It's physics. But wait a second. The A-10 shoots 65 rounds per second, and the max amount of rounds the Warthog can carry is 1,350 rounds. That means the A-10 will run out of ammo in 20 seconds. Yeah, imagine getting hit with 65 beer bottles per second, except they explode. Sorry to interrupt right here, but did you hit that subscribe button yet? Anyways, the A-10's gun alone makes up 16% of the plane's total weight, and its bullets are made with depleted uranium for maximum armor penetration. At close range, the Warthog can shred a tank in seconds. Powering this beast are two General Electric TF-34 GE-100 turbofan engines, producing about 9,000 pounds of thrust each. It's not that fast, maxing out at 420 miles per hour, but that's intentional. The A-10's job is to loiter above the battlefield and strike with precision. I would imagine for whoever is on the receiving side of this aircraft, it's probably like dealing with a very, very annoying fly, except you can't hit it. And this fly has weapons, a lot of them. Let's talk about the flight time of this beast. It can fly nearly 800 miles on a single tank of fuel and land on rough dirt runways if needed. When the A-10 shows up overhead, soldiers know they're not alone anymore. The A-10 made its combat debut during Operation Desert Storm in 1991 and instantly became a legend. In just 43 days, A-10 pilots destroyed over 900 Iraqi tanks. There are real stories of A-10s returning to base missing an entire engine or half a wing and still landing safely. One pilot even flew home after losing all hydraulic systems. After the Gulf War, the A-10 continued to prove itself in Kosovo, Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria. Every time there's a ground fight needing air support, the Warthog is the first name on the list. Despite its proven record in battle, the Air Force has tried to retire the A-10 several times, calling it too old and too slow. But each attempt meets strong resistance from the troops and commanders who know 
nothing else can replace it. Nothing replaces the hog's precision, armor, and raw toughness. The Warthog continues to receive upgrades, including modern avionics and smart bomb systems. The A-10C, the latest variant, can deliver GPS-guided weapons and communicate digitally with ground forces. As of 2025, the A-10 is still flying strong, with plans to remain in service until at least 2035. Here's a fun fact. The A-10's nickname, the Warthog, was never official. Pilots started calling it that because of its looks and the snorting sound it makes when firing. Another bit of trivia, the A-10's cannon shells are so big that ground crews joke, we don't load ammo into the A-10, we load the A-10 around the ammo. The A-10 isn't just an aircraft, it's a precision-built war machine designed to absorb damage, unleash power, and safeguard those on the ground. So the next time that unmistakable growl of the GAU-8 cuts through the air, remember. It's the sound of the Warthog doing its job, keeping soldiers alive and the enemy running. The A-10 Thunderbolt II is more than just a weapon. It's a symbol of reliability, power, and the extraordinary things human engineering can achieve. It stands as the unbreakable bond between air and ground. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments which military vehicle you want to see next, right here on Interesting Military Facts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.